Welcome back to the stay at home garden videos. Today I'm going to talk about growing in containers and I'm going to explain why some are better than others. There are many different options for plant pots. You can get creative and upcycle different materials to grow in. Make sure there's drainage though of course. Or you can buy pots or use pots that you have around your house to plant your plants. Growing in containers can be really useful because you can grow outside in multiple different locations, move your container around, or you can grow inside. You can also grow things on a container at an elevated height, therefore you don't have to bend down to your garden bed every time you need to tend to your vegetables or pick some of your fruits. As you can see, I'm growing some of my plants in terracotta pots, which are great. You can grow in bigger ones, even bigger than this, or smaller ones like here. Now, these are wonderful. They look cute and they work really well. They've got a hole for drainage at the bottom and you can get them in different sizes. The one warning I give is that they dry out really quickly. The terracotta likes to absorb the water. So make sure that you are putting a plant in here that doesn't mind drying out a little bit in case you forget and just make sure to water your plants and maybe a little bit heavy on the watering. You can use plastic or ceramic pots like this for all different types of plants. Right here I have thyme growing in it because sometimes thyme sprawls. And I want to contain it and I keep it on my porch so it's nice and close so when I'm cooking I can come out and get fresh thyme. As you can see here I've started my plants in a lot of different pots. I've got some in terracotta pots, some in plastic pots, some in ceramic, and some in hanging pots. Now one thing I'm going to suggest is not to use a black pot. That's because it heats up a lot with the sun in the summer and it can dry out your plant or just get those roots and that plant way too warm. Now I've tried it out in a lot of different varieties and we'll see which one does the best. You can see some of them are faster growers than other and I'm going to have to thin some of these. Um, but one thing you'll notice is all of my pots have holes in the bottom of it for drainage. That's very important. And as you can see, I'm on my blacktop on my driveway. So I thought, you know, I don't have enough room inside for a heated tray or for my refrigerator to start all of these plants. So I decided to move them outside on my blacktop during the sunny days where it's nice and warm and it heats up that soil and it gets those seeds ready to germinate just like these in here. They're just starting to sprout because I just planted them and the blacktop does all the work for me. There are many reasons why you might want to grow your plants in a container. For one, you might have a really nice space to put them in like a porch like mine. You might want them closer, like with my herbs, so I can cook inside and come out on my front porch and clip my herbs for my dinner. Or you may want to be able to move your plants because you're moving or they're really sensitive so you want to bring them in at night and take them out during the day. There's many other reasons, like if you can't bend over or tend to a garden in the ground, or maybe you don't have enough room in your current garden in the ground. Pots are always a really excellent option to grow your plant in. Container planting is definitely a great choice. Just make sure you have enough space in your pot for your plant and make sure there are holes in the bottom. So give growing in containers a try and let us know how it turns out. Have a great day and enjoy gardening.